There are endless amounts of ways to go about texturing your geometry. One of my favorite ways is procedural textures. If we come over to the surface editor, and we'll just, for right now, we'll go to the texture editor and we'll see the layer type. We could use image maps. Uh, we could use procedural textures, which are just um, mathematically based textures, it's like fractal patterns. Okay, and you can adjust the settings to to get the, the pattern that you're after. And of course, we've got uh, gradients as well. Uh, but if we want to use procedural textures, you'll see that there's no option for a UV map. And what if we want to take advantage of a UV map? So what I thought we could do is take a look at how you can use a UV map along with procedurals to texture a mesh. So I'm going to go back over to Modeler just so we can see. Here's our, our mesh. And let's take a look at a UV map. So I'm going to come to the top view and change it to UV texture. And We've got this UV map for the, the head object. And I want to place a procedural texture uh, on the values of this UV map. Okay, so let's go back over to layout and take a look. So we'll start in the texture editor. That's without using the node editor uh, on how to go about doing this. So I'm going to go to the image editor and see that I've loaded up just a, a black image. It's just a solid black image. I'll come over to the surface editor and for the base surface, which is this um, the skin surface, I'm going to come over to color, texture editor, and for the projection type, we're going to use an image map. For the projection type, I'm going to choose UV. I'm going to choose the UV map that I created in, in Modeler. I'm going to come over to the image and choose the black image. We can see in OpenGL it goes black and uh, let's go ahead and just use these settings. So I'm going to do a quick render and can we, we can see that we've got the black texture on there. There's a little bit of specularity and glossiness so that's why you're seeing the sheen, the, the little shine on there. So what if we want to apply procedural textures to that? Well again it's not an option in uh, the texture editor here uh, but what we can do is go over to the image editor and in the processing tab under add filter we can choose textured filter I'm going to double click and it gives us the the options here and under texture I'm going to choose layer type procedural now the interesting thing I'm going to close this down I'm going to close down the render here and I'll close this down watch in OpenGL back here I'm going to size the procedural texture down 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Let's um, throw a, a, a color on there so we can see. And you can see that in OpenGL, it's updating. So using that black image, and now we're, we're applying a procedural texture to the black image, we're going to get to see it in, in OpenGL. Okay, so there we go. I've got uh, a basic uh, little texture here. And if I want, I can add another layer. I'm going to just add another procedural layer. And let's make this uh, crust. And I'm going to make it blue. And I'm going to size it down uh, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025. Okay. And we can see that we've got our procedural textures. And they're using the UV values, the UV map to apply the, the procedural texture. So if you want to use procedural textures and you want to use your UV map to, um, to place them, this is one way to go about doing it. You just go over to the image editor under add filter, use textured filter, add the procedural uh, maps the same way that you would over in the surface editor. This is the texture editor, so it's the same, same setup and uh, you can blend this way. Now, what if you wanted to um, use procedural textures in the node editor? Well, you don't have to use this setup where you go to the image editor, so I'm going to turn this off. Okay, do a quick render. And actually I'm going to go over to the surface editor and I'm just going to shift click that T to drop what we what we set up and we get this. So let's go over to the same surface edit nodes. I'm going to activate them right here and then we'll open up the node editor and under add nodes or you can hold down control and right click and sometimes I find this easier than coming over here and doing it. So I'm going to go control right click and under the 2D textures I'm going to pick turbulence. Okay, Double click and for 
the mapping type, I'm going to choose UV map, choose the UV map that I'm working with uh, for the um, for the size, it's going to be based off the, the UV. So if you want to shrink it down, you need to increase the tile. So I'll just try five and five. I'm going to plug this into color. I'm going to actually increase the contrast as well. Okay, And do a quick render. And there we go. We've got, we're using the UV map to draw for this procedural to, to be placed. I'm going to just change it up a little bit. Uh, I think we used red okay and then let's add one more thing let's go ahead and do the um, like a crust actually I'll use the control right click and 3d crust make that blue shrink down the size a bit plug this into Actually, I'm going to plug it into the background color to fill in that black. And uh, I made it kind of too small, so I'm going to size it up a bit. Okay, and there you go. So it's a uh, another way of going about using a UV map, map with procedural. So whether you want to use the node editor or the texture editor, um, out on the base of the, the surface editor. Uh, that's, um, that's a look at, at how to do it. So remember for the, for the texture editor, you need to use a, an image, go over to the image editor and use textured filter. And for the node editor, uh, just start off with one of these uh, 2D procedurals and you'll get the, the UV options for that.